haven't been able to do in quite some time, and that's play the great debate card. Throwing that down here, the great debate card. What I want to debate with you here to, before we close out, I want to ask you who the MVP of Loki Season 2 is. For the MVP on my end, man, that's easy. That's hands down. Sylvie, MVP, baby, let's go. Greatest character in the entire series. She's intelligent. She wants to work at McDonald's. She's powerful. She saved the day because in the very end, Rovana Rinslayer was coming after everybody and she showed up with the sword and she could have killed Victor Timely in front of everybody. And she chose to let him go through the time door. If Victor Timely gets stabbed by Sylvie and she does it again. And she doesn't make the choice on her own to go against her own previous wishes. Then everyone is screwed again. Even though she's the one that got them into this situation. Doesn't matter. She's her own MVP because she created the game. She created the chessboard. It goes to Sylvie, most valuable player, most valuable character, most valuable variant, most valuable in the entire multiverse series goes to Sylvie. What are your thoughts, Jay Nelly? I will say Sylvie is a very important character. But she's not the MVP, man. What could have happened here? Like, I'd love to answer the question, it's not close. The MVP is Loki. And the reason why is because when he learned how to control his time slipping, everything changed. So he could realistically go back to that time. If you, in, in your mind, if, he, if Sylvie chose to kill Victor Timely, he could have kept time slipping back to that time and stopped her from killing him. And he could have done whatever he needed to do. He nonstop went back so many times and tried to find so many different ways to make sure they all survived and that it all worked out. He went back in time, learned all there is to learn about physics and engineering and all that great stuff. He took centuries to learn it. And that then when they saved the loom, it still wasn't enough because you can't scale for infinite. The loom broke anyways. So then he goes back and tries to stop Sylvie from killing who remains, has this big conversation with him, realizes he's got to kill Sylvie or else it's all fucked. Then he goes to talk to Sylvie. Sylvie does uh, give him a little bit of a, her mindset on, on how she believes that they could really – they should have their own option to fight and die on their own and that they need a chance to do so. So what's he do? He changes the entire equation. He opens there. Go, he time goes back, ends up going through the doors, breaking the loom, and grabbing all of the branches without him. None of these branches survive. All this, It's all dead except the sacred timeline anyways. And all these people and all their lives are just gone without Loki. And he sits there. He makes the ultimate sacrifice. His story comes full circle. He now is sitting on the throne. He is the king, not in the way that he thought, but in the way that matters. They all have a chance to survive and fight and find variants and take them out because Loki made the ultimate sacrifice, grabbing those branches using his magic to keep them alive. They're all there because Loki made a tough choice. He is the MVP in my eyes.